night, a closer look at the man charged with the murders of two Tucson girls. Christopher Clements is a convicted sex offender now facing 22 felony charges, including the murders of Isabel Celis and Maribel Gonzalez. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris. And I'm Stella Inger. We have learned that 36-year-old Clemens had a long criminal history that included sex crimes in other states, dating back to when he was just 16 years old. He popped up on the radar here in Tucson in 2007, but he didn't register as a sex offender. Tonight, some answers. Nine on your side's investigative reporter Valerie Cavazos joins us now with more. Valerie? Yeah, let's start when Clemens popped up on the radar. He had been stopped by Tucson police on suspicious activity, and when he gave them false name twice. They discovered then that he failed to register as a sex offender. He was arrested and convicted, but Clements appealed and won. Attorney Steve Patel explains the breakdown. The real tragedy, Valerie, is that we've never had a comprehensive national approach to this. All states had sex offender registries operating, but in 2006, the Adam Walsh Act took it to a national level by creating a new federal crime for sex offenders who travel to another state to keep their registries current. But Portel says that still needed a coordinated effort. Once that sex offender leaves a state and moves to Arizona, Unless the probation officer or parole officer in that state where the sex offender is leaving is no longer compliant with the terms of release, unless they call us or they make some report, it's very, very difficult for us to track them. Clements argued that his conviction happened before 2006, before the law went into effect. In 2011, a federal appeals court reversed his sentencing. Though the federal court ordered him to register in Arizona, he didn't. Clements is accused of kidnapping and killing Isabel Celis less than a year later and Maribel Gonzalez a few years after Isabel vanished. Predator is a predator for life, for life. And that's what makes predators so dangerous is they have predatory behavior, they have a victim profile, and they will go after those people for the rest of their life. And according to court documents, there are more than 100,000 sex offenders convicted before 2006, before the act, that have gone missing, not tracked after moving to other states. We'll continue to stay on top of this important issue. Back to you.